okay guys so if i click on a closed pulley line like you can say this one the green one AutoCAD is gonna show me a message telling about the area of the same pulley line in different types of units like you can say in square feet square meter square yard acres and hectares so how can we do that how can we get a message from an AutoCAD like this one as you can see this one okay so actually this is not a function of an AutoCAD however we can provide external command to get this message and how can we do that for this approach I'm gonna use AutoCAD 2007 you can use any version does not matter okay so I'm gonna use an external command like I'm gonna click on the tools or you can say you're gonna you're gonna type upload in the command bar just like that upload and then press enter or uh, space from your keyboard and load unload application dialog box will appear and then you're gonna navigate into the the folder where you have the list command like I have in the local disk which is D and then I'm gonna go into list uh, folder you can say and there I have the the command which is of course the the DD area okay I'm gonna click this one and then I'm gonna click this load and make sure there is a DD area less successfully loaded okay this uh, message must be confirmed okay and then I'm gonna click close and that's it boom we're gonna type DD area in the command bar like I'm gonna type DD area and then I'm gonna press enter and if you uh, don't know what to do you're gonna you're gonna just look to the command bar which is gonna say DD area select object to get area of okay I'm gonna select this object which is the green one pulley line and bam that's it okay AutoCAD is gonna show me the same message and different units square feet square meter and decimal uh, scale architecture scale and then metric scale however as you can see in acre hectare the values are so small and over here in metric system uh, are in metric scale these guys are zero why because the property is enough small okay and these are huge areas uh, I mean units we're gonna just uh, let me just try another property uh, with large dimensions so we can have those videos are those digits like I'm gonna type 1000 is the uh, side okay just a minute okay and then another line like this one I'm gonna do it just uh, roughly you can say and like this one okay okay and make sure for this approach we have the property uh, which gonna be closed because area uh, uh, is the property of a closed shape and then I'm gonna make it boundary by BO and then I'm gonna pick point and this is it okay so I'm gonna determine the area of this property which is red one uh, the red pulley line you can say so DD area DD and area I'm gonna type this guy in the command bar and then I'm gonna select this pulley line and that's it that's pretty awesome just look at that okay we have hectare 0. 0.0001 and acres are still not there oh just a minute I'm gonna I'm gonna try another one which is gonna be a big video you can say like this one just a minute okay all right why what you gonna do I'm gonna draw a pulley line with big lines you can say okay like this one and then I'm gonna close and let's see what's that now DD area look at that we got acres 0 0.027 and hectares 0 0.01 and that's it that, that's pretty amazing okay you can say the square feet which is 475237 square feet and in square meter date one blah 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 okay go ahead just do it okay I'm gonna upload a link to this uh, list command in the video description you can download it from there freely okay it is completely free do it